Grandma. Yep, she went to librarian school. It was a big thing at Teachers College in Columbia. Yeah. That was a really big thing. Yeah, that Cindy, is a big Cindy thing. thought that. I know. Grandma and Grandpa were wealthy. Here, I'll see it on YouTube. Because of the way they look in photographs. <laughs> they had a lot of class. They had a lot of class, but they didn't have any money. That's, 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 yeah, that's the years make a big difference. Anyway. Pushing food that way. They, uh, they uh, love well, the shapes. I'm pushing it up the city. <laughs> it's the shift balance oh, okay. has shifted. He's over there. And, uh, you know, I mean, that basically means money. So they've been buying up players left, right, and center. And, uh, Thank you so much. I guess I could have just got up and moved. Fun. Because, you know, that's a powerful. Starting its blind the 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 that that should be enough to knock back so you get the full flavor. Mm -hmm. Give that to your dad, will you please? And you you, you get the uh, you don't want to drink it all. No. Leave it for Mark. Yeah, I'll leave it for Mark. I just want to get the taste of it. Just collecting it right here, and he occasionally goes back there to sell it out. Yeah. Yeah. There's cranberry juice. There's tomato juice. I will read it too. But uh, this is a whole bunch of Australian wines, huh? Look there. These guys are fermenting uh, white wine in an open vat. Oh, that's amazing. You know, when they got that sour grape, that's, that's pretty much the best. I mean, one of the best of the best I've, I've had. Well, I'm sure I can find that when I get home. It's pr it's pricey. Do they call it sour ale? Um, it's probably what yeah, it would be called like a wild sour ale, the cork finish or something. Yeah, it would be called a wild sour ale. Um, it, it, yeah, it's a little. It's it's even more. It's usually I, I'm finding cheaper than fifteen for the small bottle. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look for it. I don't mind paying. I mean, I'll pay 25, 30 bucks for a bottle of wine. They're, I mean, yeah, they're, I mean, really, really amazing. Um, anyway, I, I, I always think it's interesting because I, I, I guess I was reading that, that some of the, you know, places like Russian River, you know, that Brunier Vineyards, they get pretty pissed off because I guess if some of those spores make it make their way over into other vineyards, they can, um, they're complaining that they can throw off some of the wines if any, if any of their... So uh, the vineyards are pissed off? Uh, but the, the Australians had a good system. When the Queen came to visit, they knew who to put in jail. You know, they arrested, you know, just about the everybody. The usual suspects. Uh, yeah, about everybody. All the usual suspects. <laughs> they put them in jail. Okay, the Queen is gone. You can go now. You know, no problem. That's <laughs> funny. Ah, you gotta love that. <laughs> you know, you gotta love that country. <laughs> The, the, the best story I ever have about Australia, uh -huh. other than a couple of dirty jokes, is, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm almost there, I'm telling stories. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, you know, like the, uh, the, the, the craft cheese of Australia is called coom, C-O-O-M, okay? Coom. That's, that's the cheese you eat, you know, mac and cheese, whatever, you know, you eat coom. And they have the, uh, 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 the, uh, one of these annual, or biannual, or whatever, meeting of the uh, uh, ministers from all the uh, Commonwealth countries, you know, which nowadays is mostly black, you know. Yeah. That's right. And uh, so, in Australia, <laughs> when you have people line up to take a picture, you don't say, say cheese, you say, say cool. <laughs> Not so you good. know all these Australian photographers <laughs> saying all to these, these ministers. Not so good. <laughs> so coon is not an Americanism. That's a universal. <laughs> yeah, it okay. is. I thought that was very American. <laughs> the fact that it ended up being the, the primary cheese in Australia is of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know what how to describe it. Open the bottle of wine, son. You're hopeless. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I got it. I got It's not an. Well, I can make an Australian joke if I can do the accent right. Are there many Catholics in Australia? Probably I'm not. Sorry? Are there many Catholics in Australia? Okay. Sure. I, I assume so. If there's Irish. There. Irish? Well, yeah. yeah, you better believe it. Irish and Italians would be Catholics. Yeah. That's, I don't know if I can do the Australian accent though. 
Let's see. Good day. Uh, good on you, Joni. Pass me a tinny. I tend to lapse into Cockney. Well, we don't know the difference. Yeah, true. Uh, we don't I know. Just Let me tell you a dirty Australian joke, you know. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, you got to remember Australia, particularly when we got there, was like the ultimate male society. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was like, you know, women had no, they barely had the right to vote. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, that reminds me of another dirty joke. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, this bloke is out uh, uh, drinking with his buddies, you know, after him, uh, uh, you know, the rugby game. And uh, his girlfriend calls him and says, uh, you know, uh, you don't care about me, uh, you know, you're uh, always out with your friends, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, I'm up on the uh, Sydney Bridge and I'm going to uh, kill myself. Oh, and I'm pregnant, you know, and now I'm just going to kill myself and uh, throw myself off the uh, bridge. And the guy says, uh, Sheila, you're not only a good lady, you're a great sport. <laughs> <laughs> That's Australia. That's, that's the ultimate Australia. I've met a bunch of those guys. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Excellent. So, for the next line, would you like Merlot or would you like a really big kind of tannic Cabernet Blanc? No, no, let's just stay with it up. No, come on. You, you guys are traveling. Save your wine for the next stop. Well, we want to share it with people who appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Merlot. Merlot? Yeah. Right. Come to the right place, Sydney. <laughs> Harriet Horizontal. Yeah. That's the nice thing about it. It's really some beautiful things here. Mm -hmm. Mom. That in the middle of yeah. the well, And that's your chair, actually. You can go ahead and sit down. That's where you're sitting. Timing is everything. Timing and then finally she said, all right, I'm going to call him and tell him he might come. Uh, it's a, a micro uh, environment where, uh, and that's where uh, this whole idea of uh, the, uh, the mold and the grapes originated. Uh, yes, they were the very first. I don't know, the Germans say the 15th century. Yeah. It came out of Hungary. Okay. Yeah, all right. it came out of Tokai. Okay. That's very stuff. Almost at the end of his life, but Thanks. I'll use them once a year. So no, I like them. I, I was wanting to get them, but I was just like, hmm, my, my husband would make fun of me. So. If you wait longer, they'll be out of fashion. There probably are already. I think I saw them at Walmart, and then I knew they were out of fashion. No, <laughs> no I think a lot of cheap ones. <laughs> senses love. Okay. Doug senses love. Joe senses love. Tom senses. There's a lot of candles. There, there, there are three persimmons. Ooh. So I suggest that only those who actually like to eat persimmons <laughs> subject themselves to the. Uh, but these look like they've been cooked. No, they just explain it, Steve. They are the ripe ripeness. They're ripe, the ripe, ripe beyond ripeness. I am get a personal guarantee. Now, because of the stringency, I think they're a challenge for wine. So, can you suggest a wine? <laughs> to go with the persimmon. Yes. Red. Okay. Deal. I can. I can. I can make that happen. The bartender says, oh, "What the hell kind of a wussy drink is that?" <laughs> you know. And, but, you know. Listen, mate. You know we. There ain't beer around here, you know, the thing. And so, well, what are you? I said, well, I'm English. Oh, you're one of them pussy Englishmen. You know, and so, you know, uh, uh, you know, everybody's laughing, you know, and uh, I said, well, what the hell do you uh, do for a living anyway, Englishman? I said, well, I'm a taxidermist. Uh, uh, and, you know, I said, what, what, what the hell is that? You know? And he said, well, you know, I, uh, I mount dead animals. And the bartender yells out, it's okay, mates, he's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Much to the defendant's distress, the defendant. And the defendant's like, well, you said I wasn't going to have to testify. Just go, 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 go. So we get 
gets up there and his own lawyer says, okay, on the night of December 12, 2010, can you tell me exactly what happened? Well, he says, I went to the pub and I had a few beers and I came home and I had to put the animals to bed and uh, there's this one goat that really likes me and as I put her in her stall, she rubbed up against me and I'd had a few beers. So I was well, a little aroused because I'd had the beers. All right, and then what happened? He says, well, I put her in the stall and as I closed the gate, she rubbed up against me and, you know, I think I got aroused even further. He says, and then what happened? He says, well, I stepped up to the goat and I, you know, I like held her like you would hold a goat that you liked, like I was about to pet her. <laughs> All right, and then what happened? Is he going to dig his way out of this or not? <laughs> he said, well, when, when she <laughs> saw me grab her by her withers, she took a step back. And at that point, the lead juror turns to his companion in the jury box, and he says, a good goat will do that. <laughs> <laughs> Quit it. 41. Give me that map. Let me tell you that. I just got done putting it away. So, <laughs> you know, you're really so putting it with all in a stressful a situation. He's back to the spot for Are you from Holland? <laughs> no, He's just a grouchy old guy. Amy Moto. <laughs> it's on Tammy and Betrayal. Is that just Eddie Grouchy? There's, nothing, there's no other information. You got Halloween. Wow. They had their best I've ever seen since. Did you I do walked. July Fourth? July Fourth was terrible. Something happened, and um, only a few of them went home. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. That's I mean, I think it was about Hello. about ten minutes or less. Oh no, that is. It was terrible. really sad. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Halloween fireworks, huh? Yeah. I, never I mean, we get like two trick-or-treaters if we get that, so we yeah. bail out and not feel bad. I've never exactly. seen anybody, any town, and I've lived all over, celebrate Halloween like Thunder Gorda. Really? That's People crazy. come from oh, that's all over the West Coast. Oh, that's what Andrew's been down here for. We donate money yeah. and candy to the people in the historical yeah. district. Yeah. I can take two upstairs. Two upstairs. Oh, okay. okay. Probably not. People here, have you noticed? There's no Hispanics. It's all middle-class white. Right. Fluent white people. Yeah. Yeah, and it's tucked away. It's got the ugliest, you know, the whole area is so ugly. Oh, but it's like all area. recreated. It's amazing. Can I put it in my back pocket? The harbor and stuff. Here we have the fabulous Christmas lights. But we'll remember this. This is a special holiday. Oh. I, think that's I really do. Just sit in the water. In the snack bar tonight. This will be on our you, be on YouTube. Good so. evening, everybody, and welcome to the Allen Star uh, Christmas Lake Cruise. And on today's the New Year's Eve, and this is our last night for Christmas lights. So we're going to have you sit back and enjoy them. The snack bar we do have on board for your convenience. We have coffee, regular decaf. We have um, two specialty drinks we serve this time of year. We got French vanilla cappuccino with whipped cream, and we have hot chocolate with whipped cream. Oh, really? Yeah. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> Look at me smile again, Cap. That's stop and start. You see, it'll start to count. Yeah. yeah. So if it's you hit counting. Anything, it's a movie. Good, that's look now. Can I command? Yes, you're in command. <laughs> we can put captions of our own on all these pictures. But I'm doing the movie. I'm not doing a picture. Well, well why you? Hey, he's he's the man of honor. Yeah. He's camera. <laughs> Ahoy, mate. <laughs> Just like Columbus Point that way. The new world. Point that way. There you go. Now look. Look at me, serious. Oh. <laughs> oh, you are cute. The bearded baby. 
The bearded baby bear. <laughs> you do love that guy. I don't know what that is. Don't cut him off at the chin. You know what I mean? I have a lot of shots like this. <laughs> you said prefer to take the top of your head off. Usually there's nobody else to take the pictures for her. What? You don't, you don't think the house is uh, worth a couple of mil? Oh, on the water? I bet you, I bet you can still do that. That house over there. Hey guys! Hey, alright. <laughs> I think I already got their jammies on. They do, they have their jammies on. <laughs> gonna have a jammy party. Oh, jammy party, huh? Alright. Lights here, the guys, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, here's, now we get to the dead end here. I tell you, it, it, it looks better on film than in reality. You know? <laughs> yeah, all the lights. That little house? Or this one here in front of us. Very nigger. That's still being built. Ran out of money. Rock and pneumonia. Here we go. This would be a lot of posing there, but when they get in the yard, they cut the grass, right? A lot of strutting around. Tonight is the night that we see the most people moon the boats. Oh, oh, that's funny. That's great. Oh, it is that? funny. Have you ever seen a bunch of 80 year old tiny? Oh, it, yeah. Oh, no, no, I don't want to. Lined up on the pool. I don't want to. <laughs> not a lot they, of war. It's not that exciting, though. Frank about it. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year! I, I, I always love those blue lights, I don't know. When we get old and gray, you can remind me of this voyage, Joe. <laughs> I've spent since last New Year's Eve. Uh, Which you did what last New Year's Eve? You I shelled peanuts remember. or something? <laughs> it was memorable, but I can't remember it. <laughs> That's like light pollution. Whatever. Yeah, that's that's a major way to shoot up here. They got this uh Lights that you know can run off of batteries so you don't kill yourself. Get you a short circuit. <coughs> Whenever I see one of those kind of life size cribs, I remember find the one myself. Yeah, yeah, I did. Where do you live? 
live in Fort Myers, but that would be fun. That's where my husband and I were trying to sell if we sell here. We moved to Fort Myers. Oh, yeah? How come you want to move down here? Um, my husband's 95% blind, but if I take him someplace and he learns the sidewalks and the curbs or uh -huh. anything that he could walk, make uh -huh. him fall, he could do things by himself. Where here he can't really walk in any places. They don't tap any side Oh, they don't. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. This fella here on the end, he won the best four years in a row. Yeah, it's a, it's a great color sense. Giving it to him so other people can win. But he doesn't have anything up this year. Oh, he doesn't. He fell and broke his leg or something like that. Oh, my gosh. And all the neighbors pitched in to help him out. Oh. Little kids were usually out there throwing necklaces and candy on the boat. I haven't seen them this year. I like his variety of lights. Yeah. It's interesting. Yes. Hi, Bar. Your boat ride on the uh, on the Peace River tonight at PGI, Punta Gorda Isles. Well, it was the most elaborate, uh, abundant display of Christmas lights I've ever seen in my life. How's that? What was, just compare it to something that you've seen in your long travels around the globe. Well, compared with um, our neighborhood, Doncaster Drive in Atlanta, Georgia, which was always spoken of as fashionable Sherwood Forest. They never left the fashionable off and everyone had Christmas lights except us. <laughs> we, had, we did have a Christmas tree though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's a sad story. I know, it's sad. Don't tell it again, please. <laughs> if you get close up, you can't tell if this is real or not, you know? Diet Coke? Okay. You know, but you gotta speak your meat because they just have a. Uh -huh. As best I can tell, they just have a. Mom, open up that What you may call it? You get rice, you get miso, you get the salad. So all you gotta decide is what kind of meat you wanna eat. I want the taki dinner. Yeah. That's the sushi, right? Yeah. I want the seaweed.
चेयरमैन सी वे It was yeah. stupendous and amazing and used up a lot of Florida Power's power. <laughs> That's true. But it was worth it. <laughs> Cindy? Kind of. Steve, could, let's have I, I was kind of disappointed that we didn't get moved by 80 no. year old. Uh, those old flappy cheeks, you know. I'd love to see those, you know. But we saw the pajama party, remember? I there know. Were, there were some revelers out there, definitely <laughs> over over 70, who were having a pajama party and fully. And they're very cute jammies, little flannel jammies. They were very cute. Doctor Denton's. Everybody needs them in an emergency, and they do happen nowadays too. I think we could all attest to that. That was fun. And now, at midnight, which is so-called magic hour, what do you expect to be doing at the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs>